Hello and welcome to this tutorial video for F Expansion's Decam Envelope Shaper Rack Extension plugin for Propellerhead's Reason. Envelope Shaper is a very useful mixing tool for helping to shape the dynamics and transients of percussive material. In this example, I'm going to use Envelope Shaper on this Dr. Octo Rex here, which is playing a couple of different percussion loops. I'll just delete Envelope Shaper and we can listen to the percussion loops dry. So we've got one very busy kind of natural acoustic percussion loop and another one which has a lot of reverb and uh, delay actually printed into the loop itself. And we're going to use Envelope Shaper to help these two loops sit in our mix in a way that EQ and compression really couldn't do. So I'll start by inserting a envelope shaper from the studio effects menu. And if we go around the back, we can see that the outputs of Dr. Octorex are going to the audio inputs of envelope shaper and the audio outputs are going to the mixer. Envelope shaper is really a very simple plugin. The audio input is used to trigger the dynamics section here. The sidechain section allows us to select either the left, left and right or right input channels to key from. And that's keying from the main input. There's no separate sidechain input. There's also a high pass filter which can help filter out any low end from the keying signal. Finally, if you want to listen to the actual signal itself, you can press the listen button here. So onto the dynamics section. The dynamics section is where all the interesting stuff happens. Let's play our percussion loop. The first thing I'm going to do is boost the input gain so that the input going into the key circuitry is as high as it can be. And then we're going to use the attack control to increase the transients of the attacks. And we'll put the uh, signal bias to about 12 o'clock. You can see the output here is peaking because the attacks are actually adding some gain to the transients in the signal, so we'll bring the output gain down a little bit. And then finally we've got the sustain control, which allows us to adjust the gain of the signal that's in between all the transients. Now if I adjust the signal bias, you'll really hear what effect that has. You can think of it like an envelope with an attack control and a decay control and a sustain control. So you can see you've got a lot of power over the transients there and it uh, adds a lot of punch to the signal. Here's the loop bypassed, which feels very mushy in comparison, and then with envelope shaper on. And let's hear that in context. Bypassed. And enabled. Let's have a listen to the other loop. I'll just initialize envelope shaper. So this percussion loop has a lot of delay actually printed into the loop itself. But again, we can use envelope shaper to reduce the sustain
keep it nice and punchy with a very fast envelope here. It's worth mentioning the saturation circuit. If we drive the uh, attack too far up, it's easy to get the uh, dynamic circuitry to clip, but what the saturation circuitry does is stop that clipping by using an analog modeled saturation circuit. So it's useful for just catching those uh, very high peaks. So let's listen to that in the mix. Bypassed. Again, a very mushy signal. And with envelope shaper on, very tight. And that is F Expansion's Decam Envelope Shaper Rack Extension Plugin for Reason.